Welcome back to Real Estate Mindset. You guys, today's video is obviously going to be bonkers. It's Redfin predicting a housing market cool down. And the reason why I want to talk a little bit more about Redfin is because they're not Zillow and Zillow messed up. So Redfin is a little bit, I would say actually a lot bit more conservative. And they're essentially going to start talking about uh, why we're in a housing bubble, while, why a cool down is expected. And overall, what I believe you guys are going to start seeing is more institutions coming to the market, more bearish, and actually a lot more institution and news outlets reporting on a housing market bubble, when that might pop. And I think there's going to be a great debate on whether or not we're in a housing market bubble. Now, you guys already know, in my opinion, we're absolutely undisputably in a housing market bubble because of the record equity surges that has been going on for the last two years. Plus, the bidding wars are completely out of control. But remember, you guys, I am not a financial advisor. I am an opinion sharer. Yes, I'm a realtor in Houston and a loan officer in the state of Texas, but I'm just a normal guy sharing my opinion. And if you could, the YouTuber in me will ask you, please like this video, you guys, comment on it, share it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember what I'm saying, my channel is a community of people. Please share your insights, share your experiences, and comment on other people's. So we're gonna jump into a, an article by fortune.com that basically goes into Redfin, what they're saying and why they're saying it. And as always guys, remember this article will be in my description below. Reference it and read it on your own so that you can continue to empower yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Plus I'm also dyslexic and I accidentally say the wrong word sometimes, shame on me. Let's start now. So Fortune came out with this April 4th at 3.30 a.m. Geez, that's an early time to release an article. It's essentially the red hot house housing market is showing its first signs of cooling, Redfin says. You guys, again, I'm super happy that Redfin is saying this because they're a player in real estate. In fact, I have a great deal of respect for any professionals or institutions specifically in real estate that actually come out and, and warn of a potential housing market crash. You know, there's still going to be people that need to buy for certain reasons. People are going to need to buy. But I think it's important that if people are buying and if you're a realtor or a loan officer, inform them at the potential risk of buying right now and help them obtain the right mindset, which, again, in my I, in my mind is holding for seven to 10 years. You may lose some equity. And it is what it is. And if you're going to buy right now, you got to be fast and you got to be aggressive. There's bidding wars going on and it is, it's a pretty bad time to buy. But if you're still going to buy and people are still going to buy, you must prepare them, right? That's my point. Now, if you're listening to my channel, rent. Let's get started. There's no doubt about it. The U.S. housing market continues to run hot. Home shoppers are engaging in bidding wars at the highest clip ever recorded. Inventory remains 48% below pre-pandemic levels, and the annual rate of home price appreciation, 19.2%, is just shy of the record set last summer. You guys, we are in a monster, monster housing market bubble, in my opinion, Look no further than the outrageous bidding wars right now. And I can assure you that I'm in the city of Houston and we are seeing every single day these bidding wars continue to get completely out of control. And with home prices up 19.2% annually and a 48% inventory shortage, it may continue to get worse in the bubble bigger and bigger and bigger. But again, you guys don't lose heart. Stay patient. The article goes on. That said, the U.S. housing market may finally be showing signs of cooling. At least that's according to Redfin. Thank you, Redfin. Fewer people are starting online home searches and applying for mortgages than this time last year. And year-to-date, growth in home tours remains far below 2021 levels. An increasing... An increasing share of sellers are also reducing their prices after putting their homes on the market, wrote Redfin researchers in a report published on Thursday. The market still feels hot, but slowdown in online searches, home tours, and mortgage applications suggest more buyers are getting priced out. Why are more home shoppers suddenly dropping out of the market? Redfin points to a soaring 
mortgage rates. As of last week, the average 30-year fixed mortgage climbed to 4.67 because they're using FRED data, by the way, which is, in my opinion, the most accurate data because it's taken from Freddie Mac. The article continues. Just a month prior, the average rate was 3.89. Meanwhile, back in December, it was 3.11%. Now, you guys know I obviously have videos on this already, um, but there's... But essentially, guys, there's no question about it. The interest rate surge has absolutely rug pulled home buyers right now, especially if you're a first time home buyer, you're getting absolutely crushed by increasing interest rates because one minute you qualified for a $300,000 house with the increased interest rate, you may now only qualify for a $250,000 house. That's hypothetical, of course. And there may not be any $250,000 house in your market area. Am I speaking from my own market? Yeah, it seems that way because why I'm looking every single day because you want to know something, you guys, I am being patient. I am going to make money on the opposite side of this, but I absolutely hate paying rent. I'm essentially giving my landlord a gift card for $27,000 and I'm paying their mortgage. So I do not like renting, but in this situation for right now, I believe for me, it is the wisest thing to do instead of buying an overpriced home. As I always say, it's better to pay a higher interest rate than a higher overpriced dollar amount for a home because you can get trapped in there, whereas your interest rate potentially can refinance. Let's continue. Mortgage rates are shooting up at the fastest pace in history, sending the typical mortgage payment for a home buyer up more than $500 since the beginning of this year. That's only three months, wrote the Redfin researchers. As rates quickly approach 5%, as I told you guys in some other videos, we expect their impact on home buyer demand to change from a motivator driving a sense of urgency to buy before rates rise further to a deterrent. Ultimately, the Redfin researchers predict th these higher rates will translate into slower rates of home growth over the next few months. Lead analysts of Housing Wire hope spiking mortgage rates can cool down the red hot housing market a bit. In his eyes, inventory levels have simply gotten too low and it's leading to an unsustainable level of price appreciation. For things to get healthier level of growth, he says, we need to see inventory begin to rise again. Inventory is so extremely low right now that it will benefit housing for inventory to get back up because the forced bidding wars have created a terrible marketplace. It goes on. So far, we've yet to see inventory post a meaningful upward bounce. Until that happens, industry insiders say we won't see any significant cooling in the housing market. And you guys, that is essentially why I think we're in a housing market bubble. The lack of inventory is simply destroying market fundamentals when it comes to equity appreciation. Equity appreciation should not, in my opinion, be surging so radically like this. So I will argue that because of low inventory, that actually makes us in a housing market bubble because the bubble, what we're talking about is inflamed equity growth. So think about that, you guys. Think about the massive equity growth. 19% in one year is ridiculous. That is not going to keep up with wages. How can people afford it? Think about the lack of inventory that we have right now only getting higher while demand keeps getting crushed. Inventory is going to get higher. I'm telling you, in my opinion, throughout the year of 2022, we are going to see more and more inventory come onto the market and stay on the market. Mark my words on that. Now, as always, guys, my opinion I want to share with you, I really think we're entering into a transition now. I think you're going to start seeing a lot more news outlets and companies start coming forward, warning people of a housing market bubble. And what I hope happens is I hope people will take those warnings seriously because, again, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And I really want you to focus on the hope of all of this, not rushing out to buy something you don't love. That's way too much money. So as always, you guys prepare, right? Rebudget, trim your expenses, save your money, work on your credit worthiness, get out of consumer debt and love your family. Now, if you're interested in investing in real estate, I wish you luck and I hope you win.